Hey guys, how's it going? I'm not even going to say, you know what I'm going to not say? I'm not going to say, picking up my cute new coffee mug. I'm not going to say what day it is today. <laughs> playing a little Jedi mind trick on you because with all of the technology issues I'm still dealing with, um, with my blog, my computers, my phones, my iPhones, my iPod, all of this crap. Um, I'm not going to say what day it is because realistically by the time you see this on my blog or by the time it goes live, if I say, hi, it's Monday, you'll probably see it Friday. And then people get confused and get upset and write me nasty emails. Uh, good stuff. Isn't my new Starbucks mug cute? I'm obsessed with Starbucks mugs. But this one is their latest one. Um, you can't really see the inside. It kind of blends in with all of the, the cinnamon and coconut oil that I put in it. Oh man, um, my upper body is on fire. I did, um, sorry, I'm really a little, I don't want to say tired. Um, I'm a little spent from my workout. I did the 60 minute uh, version of Les Mills Combat today, and um, it was it was good. But let me tell you, one of the things that is really different in the Les Mills Combat series that my hair is jacked. I know it's just messy. Um, one of the things that's different in when when I think about the the workouts that I've done that I like that are you know kickboxingy, they tend to be, with the exception of Kathy Friedrich's videos that are specifically you know titled boxing or more uh, MMA this has so much more <laughs> really concentrated upper body where they just burn you out that's why my like it it's hurting me not hurting me but like you know when you just go to the gym and you blast out your shoulders or you blast out your upper body and then you get to the end and, and you're trying to put your coat on or whatever and you're like oh like that's they just it, it, it all of the other DVDs or workouts, if I've done them, that have a kickboxing kind of a slant, it's much more all about the lower body, which is great. And I don't get me wrong, that's part of what I love are the kicks and, and all of that. But uh, a really great way to get your heart rate up and to sweat and also work your core are all the punches. But they usually will go, okay, you know, one, two, and then you're doing a bunch of kicking. One, two, and that's it. Like, Les Mills Combat, I'm not going to do it right now because I am really beat from this cardio this morning. Um, you are just doing punching and then you don't stop. So they'll do just a ton of punching and you're, and, and so you're already, and you know, you're, you're holding your arms up the whole time. So that in and of itself, when you keep moving, and then you don't stop because then they'll go and they'll do one version on, on one arm, whether it's, you know, hooks or uppercuts or hooks, uppercuts, or like a, a jab punch. And then you go back to jab, 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 or upper, 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 whatever. So you're just literally, then by the time you switch and you do this side, you're literally like, oh, mother of God. And then, you know, she'll add some of this or that or whatever. But more than any other series I've done, it's balanced. It's upper and lower body. Then on this one at the end, they did these wide, wide grip um, push-ups where you have your hands much wider and then you you go down and then there was this this it's hard for me to of course demonstrate when I'm here but you kind of you go down and then you swirl up when you're at, oh my god and I was on my knees so I was not even doing big girl push-ups which I can do mind you um, but whew, I really like it for for I really like the fact that it does so much upper body because it makes I think it's just a more balanced kickboxing type of workout um, it burns your arms, it adds to the cardio factor, and then, you know, you're also actually working your arms. I'm just, whew, I'm spent, people. I need this this morning. The other little thing I was going to tell you, and I think that this vlog is going to be under eight minutes. I'm up for the challenge. Um, I wanted to tell you that I'm really excited about what a couple of things that I've accomplished this week. These are just little steps, and I think it can be helpful for all of us if you just try to pay attention to adding, you know, doing something better today than you did yesterday, but each week, add a new habit. Don't try to overwhelm yourself. If you're starting off in January, and, and you're starting off 
with, you know, this dedication to lose weight. Do, I mean, I don't want to tell everybody what to do. I just know what can be overwhelming. And if you go from, you know, eating whatever you want and you have no workout system in place and then you, you start with the extreme. This is what too many people do. Whoa. You start with the extreme in January whenever you start your diet and you go, yeah, I'm, I'm having no junk food. I'm not going to eat out. I'm not going to drink. I'm not going to do this. And you just knock everything out. All of a sudden, your life is going to, it's like going from, you know, 50 miles an hour to five. It's going to feel really slow instead of going from 50 miles an hour to 45 miles an hour, getting used to that, then going to 40 miles an hour, then getting used to that, then going to 35. It, the transition is much less traumatic, if you will. And a lot of what I did last year was different steps of incorporating better behaviors and getting rid of poor behaviors. A lot of it was in, you know, my mind, getting rid of really bad relationship with food issues and, and hating and bad attitude towards my body and all of this stuff. So, you know, a bunch of like that kind of stuff that you want to go, God, it's important, people. Your attitude, your mind, I really, really believe you can, you can look at weight loss and getting fit and say, you know, it's 80% diet, 20% of what you do in the gym. Yeah, almost any trainer or doctor or dietitian is going to say the same thing, that diet is the most important thing, and most people can get the workout part down. But at the end of the day, which that's a really annoying saying that everybody says, and I've been saying it a lot, but I don't know what a filler is for it. Um, at the end of the day, my little squirrel's out there, um, it's in your mind. You have to be in the right mindset. You have to be in the right mindset when you're at the end of your workout and you want to give up when there's 10 minutes to go and you have to push through it. That's in your mind. It's in your mind when it's Friday and you feel like sleeping in and you're in your bed like this <laughs> and it's cold out and it's dark outside. That's in your mind when you have to go, you know what? Get out of bed because the second you get out of bed and stay out of bed for three minutes, Kelly, you're going to be fine. That's the mind stuff that you've got to get right. I think that if you get your mind in the right place, you can, I mean, I don't want to say the rest is cake. It still has a lot of effort. It's all in your mind. And your mind isn't something that you just switch on and you're like, okay, I'm good. I'm set the rest of my life. No. You kind of, you have to work on this the rest of your life. Rats. I'm at seven minutes and 33 seconds. So it's going to be a little bit longer, but we're going to be under 10. Here's the thing that I've done this week. Um, I told myself last week, y'all know I was a little tired of getting to bed really late and then waking up later because the amount of sleep that I need to get is important for me. My new Technogel mattress makes it very easy to sleep a lot and not want to get out of bed. That mattress with the addition of the Technogel pill, pillow, sorry, <laughs> makes getting out of bed an issue. I'm just going to put it that way. It's very, very beyond comfortable. So what I wanted to do was start getting to bed earlier and waking up earlier. And I don't know why it seemed like such a stretch to say, I'm going to go to bed at 1030 so I can get up at 630. That's eight hours of sleep. I want to do it. And you know what? I was pretty surprised that I just started this on Sunday and the first few days were difficult. The first few days just to like not want to stay up and watch another episode of Grey's Anatomy on Netflix or something, yeah, that was a problem. Um, to not want to keep reading in bed, that was a problem. But you just, I, it took me probably about three days to get up, you know, go to bed at that time, do everything I needed to do, plan for it with my schedule, um, go to bed at 10.30, set my alarm, and then once I've gotten used to it, by this morning, I'm getting up mentally, like I'm already getting up before the alarm at 6 because my body's getting ready to be up at 6.30. I'm sorry, the squirrels are cracking me up today. So if you, if you tr start trying to add one habit, one habit a week, add the good habits instead of focusing as much on getting rid of the bad habits. Um, sometimes that's an easier focus, but here's the thing. Do you think that I'm going to go back and, and have a problem um, with my sleep patterns? No, it's on. Now, yeah, they say it takes 21 days to establish a habit. Sure, I'm going to keep focusing really hard the next two weeks to make sure, but it's pretty much there. And, and the cool thing about adding new habits to your life, God, my hair's a mess, um, is once you do that, it's just so empowering because you're like, damn, I was getting up at 8 o'clock last week and now I'm getting up at 6.30? 
hello. And so then you're like, what else can I do? Same thing at the gym. When you, when you doubt yourself, when you fear, and then all of a sudden you say, no, you know what? I bet you I can add another plate to this set or, or whatever. And then you do it. You're like, well, crap, I bet you I can do this. And then it just keeps building. Okay. The other thing is y'all know that, you know, one of the big things I've been talking about that has been my problem is making time for myself, making time to just sit and read a book over the weekend instead of going, no, I've got to do this and then I'm going to clean my office. I got to do this. And this, this is me or that's been me every single day for the past three to four years. I get up out of bed and it's like, Psh! and there's barely any time to sit, have my coffee, have my quiet time, say my prayers, barely any time for anything. Even if I would go to the gym, I was rushing because I'm like, I've got to get back. I've got to have a call. I've got to do this. I've got to do this. I don't even ever, I was like, you know, fast forwarding through life and never taking time to give myself anything of enjoyment. No time with my friends because can't do that. I have to catch up at work. Thing is, if you never get off that treadmill of life, you're going to be just like I am now with my arms where you're like, I can't do it. It's better to stop, get your mojo back and then get on that treadmill and like crush it. And then you can go faster and get more done in 20 minutes than you would in three hours. Okay. That's that concept. And I'm already past 10 minutes. So there you go. But one of the things that I started doing this week was making time for myself in little areas that I haven't done. Okay. Sometimes just the littlest things, if you add them back into your life, it can make such a difference. Um, and, and again, it's all about habits. It's about doing little things for yourself that make life easier, that make, you know, your routine a little bit more pleasurable. I started, you can, I don't know if you can see it. Oh my God, my arms, my uh, coffee maker at night. This is the simplest little thing, but I make sure that I set my coffee maker up the night before and I put my coffee grounds in it. I put the, the water in it. So then if I do my cardio in the morning, I just come in here and I'm like, Instead of having to go, oh, let me fill up the water. It's just such a little thing makes such a difference that I can come out here and go, oh, I'll just press my button. My coffee is getting ready. Um, the other thing I do is, you know, this is what I take before my workout, as you know. So the night before, I set this out on the counter. I set this out on the counter so it's ready to go. Bam. Um, the other thing I started to do, and this is just kind of a tip. It's not necessarily like I'm treating myself, but it's all about like, how can, how can we take care of our body and, and pamper ourselves so that we feel better and whatever. I've really been lax, um, a, a better part of, of last year of getting, I've always had a, a really good skin routine, probably since I was about 35 when I started using, um, Arbonne and it's been easy, but there's a lot of times where, because I was rushing, I would get up in the morning and be like, Oh, I don't have time. Let me like run in here. I'll do this. And then, you know, I'm working for six hours and I look up and I'm like, Oh, I haven't eaten. I haven't put on my make, you know, my, my skincare, um, not taking care of myself, you know, again, little things because, and why was I doing that? Because I was saying to myself that I didn't have time. I didn't have 40 seconds to put my skincare on in the morning. That's stupid. Okay. Do you think that if I stopped and did that and took care of my skin and, and whatever, and, and which is going to make me feel better and look better, that's going to really take that much out of my day? No. So I'm back to taking the time when I get up in the morning before I even get dressed, I weigh myself, I put on my skincare, I'm, I'm making sure that I'm taking the time. I'm taking the time after I do a shower to put moisturizer on my whole body instead of going, oh, I don't have time for that, I better rush in here and start working. No, I have time to put my moisturizer on my body so I don't have ridiculously dry skin. And then actually it was Michael that told me, we were talking about how you know dry the air is. And he's like, don't you have a humidifier in your room? And I remember like, I think my mom had said something to me about that too. But I bought a humidifier yesterday and started putting it in my room because I was getting used to waking up in the middle of the night like, <sighs> my throat was so dry and my skin, my, my skin on my face was like peeling off. I mean, really, really bad dry skin for no reason putting the humidifier in my room and now I run it during the day too. Guess what? Skin's not peeling like it's gone through some ridiculous chemical peel. Um, so those are just like little things, you know, little habits that can make your life easy, make your morning a little bit more pleasurable. Maybe it's, that's not it for you. Maybe it's something else. Maybe it's pre-making your lunch. Maybe it's trying my, those diet to go meals that I've been doing so that you don't have to think about it. Um, I mean, whatever you want to do, just make time for yourself. I got to tell you, there's nothing <laughs> that makes you feel better. Well, I don't want to say nothing, <laughs> but
But you know, after I get out of the shower, I've told you, I use lo regular lotion. This stuff is good for your, I will tell you this, I don't put this on my face anymore. A lot of you said this and it's really true. It's true for me. I don't know why. I use this on my body and it's an amazing moisturizer for your body. It's great for your hair. If I put it on my face, my face peels. No idea. I have no idea why. But a lot of you guys wrote to me about that. They're like, why is it when I put coconut oil on my face, it peels? I have no idea, but I'm no longer putting it on my face. So I put it on my body. It's also great for elbows. Um, it's just wonderful. So that said, I went double the time I said I was going to do. I said I was going to do an eight minute vlog and I did 15, but at least we're under 20. So anyway, you guys have a good rest of the day. I have to go rest these puppies, but um, I really, you know, again, to back up at the beginning of the video, absolutely love the Les Mills Combat. Um, this weekend I'm going to dive in and start previewing Kathy's X-Train, uh, which will be nice because the more I think about it, you know, most of my uh, weights, weight training is, is at the gym now, but then I do like that when I don't, sorry, just stretching, when I don't go to the gym, that I've got a really nice setup here. And those X-Train, um, her series, that looks like, you know, oh, I thought that was a rabbit. Um, just a really killer, killer, killer advanced um, series that you can mix up in any way you want for each body part or for multiple body parts. I'm exhausted. It's, I'm not telling you what day it is. <laughs> not until we're all caught up. The reason I'm not caught up, you guys, is in addition to everything else that has gone wrong, my iPod is not, my brand new iPod has a problem, my brand new Jabra, that big Bluetooth system that I got for my office. Do you know that I went to set it up and it wasn't working? I called technical support and they're like, you need to have a corded phone for this to work. And I'm like, hmm, I kind of bought this Bluetooth wireless system that answers all my phones Bluetooth wirelessly. So I didn't have to have that. And I haven't had a corded phone with numbers on it in like, 10 years, I had to go out to Walmart and buy a corded phone to make my badass Bluetooth wireless phone system work. How does that make any sense? Who designed that? That pissed me off so much, you have no idea. Um, so that was it. I had issues with my all-in-one. I think that's kind of fixed now. Finally got most of that working, but now it's my blog. So my blog, I was on Squarespace version 5. The new Squarespace version 6, 6 is actually a different platform. So I went and I've, you know, imported the content to version six, forwarded my domain, but as of the past two days, my domain is still showing the old blog, but yet when I called GoDaddy, who handles my domain forwarding, they're like, when I pull up kellyalexa.com, I see your new site. And I'm like, I'm seeing the old site. Three other people that I called in different states are seeing my old site, so it's this like mystery. Can I turn the other one off? Is the other one showing? Where do I post? Where do I put my new blog? It's all very frustrating and it makes me need Botox. I have to go. I'm almost to 20 minutes again. Dang!